friends, one of them being John Crowder, and he said, ah, they're not going to let you in there. Okay, that's what I thought. So, then a couple months go by, I was contacted by this church. They said, we want you to come. I said, are you out of your mind? Really? Seriously? And they said, yeah. I said, why? They said, because the Lord said, if we don't receive you and receive what you have to say, then we're not going to get this new wineskin. Wow. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay. <laughs> and so we go up there. And I just do what I do. I'm just preaching the gospel, just having fun. But before I get up there, the pastor gets up and says to the whole church, I'm warning you right now, I know you're probably judging this guy, but if you do not receive what he has to say, you're going to miss the new wineskin, and you're going to miss what God wants to do in you in this next year. And I was like, ah! So I just preached, had fun, got drunk. It broke out. It broke out. People were getting healed and all kinds of, and it was just incredible. Of course, it's not. It's the Holy Spirit's the Holy Spirit. He does what he does best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tigger's not the only one who does what Tigger does best. You know what I'm saying? Hogo. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Hogo does what Hogo does best. Yeah. There's so much glory on the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost gets slain in the Holy Ghost. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's so good. God's passion for revealing his son in the masses will be realized by the coming generations than ever before, the more than ever in history. Yeah. The coming generations that you guys are discipling, that you guys are raising up, that, we're, uh, that we have the, hey, keep it going. <laughs> I don't even want to be able to preach anymore. <laughs> Come on. But seriously, they are going to go on to reveal God's passion for humanity more than, than the past generations have, that, yeah. that even had a chance to, because a lot of them died early. They did. And I think the Lord's saying, no, not this generation. Not this generation. The Lord started speaking to us about health and wellness and all that. And he said, this is my wisdom. Listen to me. Because this generation is not going to die out early. This generation's getting it. This generation is going to proclaim the passion of God in humanity more than ever before. Yeah. And they're going to sound like Keaton and Chainsaw if they have to. <laughs> and you know... The Holy Spirit, he speaks everybody's language. And I don't just mean native tongues. You know what I'm saying? They were like, he did T.D. Jakes. They said, we're out of here. I'm just joking. But, <laughs> and that, that might look something like, you know, you go up to somebody, you got your suit and your tie coming off Wall Street. The Lord says, hey, I want you to speak to that dude. The dude's got his pants hanging down here and he's to walk up. And the Lord says, go up and say, yo, what up with it? <laughs> hey, yeah. the Lord speaks languages, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Might be a little white boy, but I got a big old Holy Ghost up in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> One time I was so dry, I started speaking in a British accent. Don't know what that was about, but anyway. I go, Jesus, thank you, Lord. What in the world? I told you the Lord has a sense of you. <laughs> no, but anyway, so I'm in California a couple months back. I'm preaching in Stockton. I would tell everybody, they, they say, what part of, anyone here from California? I'm familiar with Stockton. Okay. Yeah. So, do you know anything about Stockton? Yes, Okay. I well, mm -hmm. anytime someone would say, where are you going to California? and say Stockton. They go, oh. oh no. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no. And I'm like, okay, obviously this is God's place right here. Something's going to happen. Because people are calling it like the armpit of California. All kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm like, well, then Jesus is going to be showing up. I can tell you that. So, I go there. And it's all recovering drug addicts, or non-recovering drug, but it's all people that are having a, a trouble with drugs, you know, yeah. believing lies about their identity and killing their bodies with this stuff. And so, you know, this particular meeting was at a certain particular kind of church where you don't say certain particular kinds of things when you're trying to do like the Romans do, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so, you know, I wouldn't go to the local, you know, Mennonite church and say this, you know, but... The Lord said, I want you to go up to that front row of, of, of God. You know, it's all guys. They're obviously, out they're all tied, dealing drugs, you know, all kinds of stuff. The Lord, the Lord said, I want you to go up and I want you to look at them in the eye and ask them if they want to join. A joint? <laughs> I saw your face. You were, the religious bones started to rise up and they're like, no, I'm not going to let it. Okay. Yeah. Not going to let it. I don't have 
have a religious bone. They're all gone. <laughs> Trust me. My, I had one too. Like, I was like, I still have a religious bone in my heart somewhere because I don't know about that. I'm like, I thought I stopped hearing from the devil in 2001. Why? It's like, that's not the voice of God. <laughs> Here again. Ask him if he wants to join. I'm like, oh, God, you better, you better do you better do something with this really quick, because I don't know about all this, you know. Uh -huh. And um, so I went up and I said, hey, guys, you want to join? <laughs> and here I am, God, what now? Please, give me something. Give me something. You know, you told me to do this. And the guys are like, oh, oh and they totally broke, you know what I mean? They're speaking their language, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, no high like the most high. <laughs> they speak their language, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, they all were like, oh, the preacher just asked us if we want a joint man. I'm like, Lord, what do you want me to say? He goes, say, how about joint resurrection with my son, Jesus Christ? <laughs> so I said, how about joint resurrection with Jesus Christ? Because you've been raised again and seated with him. And if you just believe the gospel right now, Jesus is going to reveal himself to you. They all got whacked in the Holy Ghost. So, oh, yeah. I mean, her <laughs> plop. <laughs> Deaf ears start popping open, and they start throwing yeah. drugs, and I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm like, yeah. wow. Holy Spirit spoke their language, I guess. Freaked me out, but... <laughs> Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, now some of you that, you know, get this idea, you just got invited to speak at the Lutheran Church on Sunday morning. <laughs> Be careful, Tiger, all right? Just hold on a little bit there. <laughs> Listen to the Holy Ghost, okay? <laughs> Jesus. No, I love Lutherans. I love Mennonites. I don't even know what that is, but I love them. I love I love all of them. I love everybody. Jesus loves everybody. Come on. Scripture says, think about it. Scripture says that, that he's the savior of the world, and especially those who believe. The whole world. He's the savior of the whole world. Apparently today that's a dangerous doctrine, but don't forget that.